Hi, this is Alex from Zeus Technology. Um, I want to explain to you a bit about um, one of the features of the load balancer and traffic manager that uh, allows you to uh, monitor the performance of your application um, on a service, um, on a ser per service basis, or um, in fact, on a per individual user basis. Um, and basically, it means that you can look at the response time of a service or a particular class of user of that service, and then take actions based on um, based on what's actually going on with your with your traffic um, as it moves through the traffic manager. Um, so one of the things that you can do uh, using service level monitoring is, as I said, look at the response time of a service or a particular class of user. And you do that using a feature called service level monitoring. And it's fairly simple to configure. Basically, you specify what your response time is or the, the, the response time that you want for your, for your service or your class of user. And then you configure a number of thresholds. So if the percentage of uh, responses um, within your specified time drops below a certain threshold, then you can start um, uh, issuing alerts, whether those are email alerts or um, whether there may be even configuration changes of your traffic management. So if you're monitoring a particular class of user, if that class of user starts to suffer, then you can change the um, change what you do to other users of the system. So you can start applying bandwidth limits or rate limits, um, or you can do something as simple as, like I say, send yourself an email alert, um, or an SNMP trap, or uh, create a configuration change. Um, so there are two thresholds that you can configure. Um, if it, for instance, if uh, your service levels drop below 70%, then you might just want to send yourself an email. And if they drop below 50%, then maybe you want to actually start applying those um, those rate limits to the standard class of user. Maybe if it's an online shopping website, um, you might just want to um, start redirecting them to a different holding page or something. Um, so once you uh, configure a service level class, you then just apply that service level class to the virtual server, or you can invoke it. Um, if you've got the traffic manager, you can invoke it using using traffic script. So in this case, all I need to do is click this button here to apply the service level class. And then as the performance level of my application starts to degrade, then uh, it will first of all, by default, just start um, sending out email alerts.